Have you ever had that moment where you're just like wondering why you're doing certain things? I mean, like, I, I know why I'm doing this. It's to help sort of broaden my horizons when it comes to writing and everything. But at the same time, it's like, uh, why are you doing this to yourself? This is Katha Growing Author here at the Magic Library. And let's just say I've sort of gotten myself into some very uncharted territory. All right. So before we get started and everything, um, I do have to do the uh, plug in and everything. Um, Arborea Lux and Saber Awakening are actually available right now on Amazon in ebook format and on paperback. Um, down in the links for both of those are down in the description below. Um, I'm trying to sort of up my sales a little bit, um, primarily because um, I have to pay, I sort of have to pay, uh, well, I uh, have got to work on business privilege tax today, so there's that. Um, <laughs> Yay, tax season! <sighs> um, <laughs> uh, I am actually reshooting this video because I was sort of off track a little bit in that entire thing, but uh, let's... <laughs> there's, there's that. Yeah, the caffeine is really starting to hit my system. Anyway, um, the description in the description below are the links for uh, Arboreal Lux and Stay From Awakening, so I hope you guys will enjoy those if you guys like Paranormal Dark Fantasy. Yes, Hunter, I'm still calling it Paranormal Dark Fantasy because if you look into subtext and everything, it does get very, very dark in some of the, in some of the subject matter. Please reread the book to figure it out. Um, that's an entirely other video. I will get to that and, and do another thing. But Hunter, just know I accept your challenge and I will uh, do a review of your review of my book of Arborea Lux and I will also review your book, your book Broken World. Um, so stay tuned. But anyway, if you like uh, Paranormal Dark Fantasy and if you like uh, bits of mystery, um, some world history sprinkled in along with mythology um, and also uh, very, very deep subjects that you feel need to sort of be talked about um then uh, uh, not to mention you have a um very a sort of slow burn like on and off romance because uh poor Zyla cannot make up her mind um and also some issues it's like just like you're wondering how the characters will get out of this you will definitely enjoy um Arborea Lux and you will most definitely enjoy Seraphim Awakening and the rest of the Seraphim trilogy. Bloodlines will be coming out October I'm thinking 15th but it depends on what day that falls on so uh stay tuned for that and now on to the video okay so I sort of started this entire video off by talking about uncharted territory and uncharted territory for me in writing terms should not come at as a surprise my chosen um my chosen genre that I've sort of not necessarily made a name for myself, but how I've sort of like made it my own is that I do primarily fantasy. I primarily do like paranormal fantasy or dark or fantasy that talks about some very, very dark undertones hunter. Um, but, uh, um, it's, it's my writing is basically a reflection of the world and how I see it and how I think that problems need to sort of be solved. I say sort of with a very loose means do quote do you can't quote me on that just don't do it out of context um but uh and that's sort that's sort of my thing i see the problems in the world and i i see problems in in the world and i sort of put them into my stories and everything because it's just like this could pretty much be the paranormal dark fantasy version of our world if our world had vampires wolf shifters and other creatures in it and also I would say general respect for all religions, but we all know that there are very few people who actually do and do that. And I'm getting off topic again. Yeah, I'm starting to think I shouldn't have had that dose of coffee this morning. Eh, what the heck. But right now we're talking about what I've sort of steered my writing career into. And that is the genre as science fiction. Now don't get me wrong, I love science fiction. I love visual media of science fiction. I mean like I can re I can rewatch like Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy, Ender's Game, 
Pacific Rim to an extent. I watched the first one, not the second one. The second one was not that good. Um, and uh, Transformers, I technically think, is classified as science fiction, or does it classify as thrillers? Let me know down in the comments what you think. But I do like science fiction. The problem that I'm sort of putting myself in is that I have two ideas for science fiction stories and I've sort of committed myself to them because I think that they are a very, 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 very good idea. Um, but at the same time, I know nothing about writing science fiction. I mean, seriously, I know nothing about writing science fiction. I mean, like, I know nothing about what goes into, like, describing details. I know nothing about describing machinery. I know nothing. Um, but uh, these two stories that I have are sort of important to me. I'm primarily, like, there's um, one that talks, that's basically, like, um, Mobile Suit Gundam. Uh, so, uh, it's, like, Mobile Suit Gundam meets Ghost in the Shell meets uh, Norse mythology to an extent. Yeah, you see where I'm, you see where, I, what I'm, you see what I'm doing here. Um, and the other one is like, uh, a, is, uh, a homunculus who learns what it's like to be human, um, but, uh, she, but she was like, she's, uh, but she was created to be the vessel for this, uh, um, for this celestial being card called a harbinger and she's basically used as a weapon. Um, so think of that as like Pinocchio mixed with Ghost in the Shell. Yeah, you see my, you see my influence here is sort of Ghost in the Shell. Um, but, uh, it's, these two stories are particularly interesting because they talk about issues of humanity that tend to grow that will tend to grow worse if the world doesn't better itself um in the story about the homunculus being um the vessel for a harbinger um uh you see bits of it's post-apocalyptic so there's <laughs> there's another thing that i'm sort of doing my doing to myself um and it's basically um roles of people in society and how those roles sort of cement themselves when tragedy strikes and humanity is trying to rebuild. There's not really anyone who's trying to learn from their lessons. It's just, they're all just trying to survive. Um, and sort of the same way for um, the mobile suit frames that are, that are, that's mixed with Norse mythology and everything, um, except it goes more into a humanitarian view and also is not necessarily a coming of age story, but it's more of a, uh, it's, it's more of a you find yourself story. Both of them are sort of you find yourself stories. Um, um, but they both explore humanity in basically, this is basically just shadow, this is basically just a shadow journal just written into a story, I swear to God. Um, but, uh, it's, these two stories are very, very important, and I do think they do need to be written and given to the public. Um, primarily because it's like, I well, I I want these issues to be known and everything. That's sort of what I want to do with my writing. But at the same time and everything, I want people to just enjoy the story. I want to be, I want them to be able to see what the world um, could be like in these circumstances and just whether or not they would want to change it for the better. I will say this, I will be writing some very, very frustrating characters for some of these two, for some, for some of these, uh, stories and everything. Like, if you know anything about Sarah from Awakening and Arborea Lex, you probably already know, hey, I am very good at writing very frustrating characters. Um, <laughs> because it's just like, um, it's like, I, I'm trying to, like, emulate, uh, Cassandra Clare and her ability to basically write um, paranormal, um, paranormal and supernatural teenage fantasy soap operas into her books because uh, I, I I love Cassandra Clare's books I really do. Um, <laughs> it, um, let's get back on topic. I do love science fiction and I do love that I'm taking on these two stories as a personal challenge of mine. Um, I, the only problem is, is that I don't know anything about mechanics of science fiction. I am going to end up having to do a lot of reading for science fiction to see how things sort of go. And I'm also going to be, <sighs> I'm going to be doing some massive research here, possibly in the next few years for those two stories. So there's that. Um, but 
the thing about science fiction is that and why I want to do this is that I do think that this will help me grow as a writer and I do think that this will sort of broaden my horizons in terms of uh, the genre spectrum because um, right now I'm primarily doing fantasy I'm primarily doing I'm primarily on um, paranormal dark fantasy and I'm also doing high fantasy for another story that I'm doing that I'm actually writing right now um, but uh, <sighs> let's just say I it's like <laughs> yeah there's a shirt that I want to make that's uh, that basically says uh, ask me about my writing projects and in parentheses under it that says it's hell inside my head so I, I am definitely going to be making that shirt soon um, primarily for <laughs> for all this and everything it's, it's it, this is gonna be a trip <laughs> All that being said and everything, I am looking forward to this journey and it's going to be definitely an uphill battle, but at the same time, I, I do believe that I will come out on top enlightened and um, with a new genre sort of under my belt, but at the same time, sort of something that I will continue to work on. Wow, I burned through that a lot. Could I talk about anything else doing in science fiction? I mean, like, I love some of the themes of science fiction. There's usually um, a sense of almost, like, god complex that comes with some uh, science fiction stories. I mean, like, you've got, uh, in Ghost in the Shell and everything, you learn about, like, basically, um, you, it's, it's, it's science, uh, Ghost in the Shell is weird because it's, like, there's, um, the implication there that's like uh, memories can be rewritten and everything and data because because everything's seen as data um, in uh, Pacific Rim and everything it's uh, basically people um, letting other people into their heads literally in some cases to um, uh, to pilot these giant mechs and I actually know are they technically mechs um someone tell me whether or not you think uh the Jaegers in Pacific Rim are technically mechs I don't it's like uh, to me they're just giant robots but I don't know if they're technically mechs or not um uh so someone please tell me what I'm doing um but um it's basically seeing like trauma and everything and and all that so there's that um, but it's like science fiction is very very interesting and I'm very interested in getting into that subject so I don't know you guys will just have to follow me along with on this this wondrous journey of mine <laughs> I guess I could also talk about some of the other projects that I'm doing I mentioned before that I was doing another fantasy project um, that I'm actually really really into writing right now um, I did something very very weird that I don't typically do I actually came up with a chapter list first and wrote out the names for each of the chapters. I don't typically do that, but I find it to be a very, very easier way of writing specifically this book because I've split the book into four parts and I've split it into, and I've made it to a sort of point where it's just like, it's, I don't know, it's it's, it's interesting to, to say the least um, because it's like, it the, the book is split into four parts and the chapters are long um and each and each um chapter has to do with a certain journey of this character and everything um and i i guess it's also technically science fiction in a way because it talks about um artificery um in 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 terms of like uh magic and alchemy being fused with technology so i guess that's sort of science fiction -y in a way if not and so it's if not like like greatly steampunk um but it's it's very interesting because it's also about sort of it's also sort of about finding yourself in a way and sort of just like the resurgence of knowledge i don't know if it's going to be a series or not i'm just working on the first book um but it's it's gonna be fun and everything i think it's 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 gonna be there's there's that that i'm doing so um it's I'm not going to be putting out the call for beta readers yet, not it, not not yet, not until I have several chapters actually written out and somewhat edited on 
on Google Docs. But, you know, say lovey. Um, oh, another writing project that I'm doing that I've not really started on yet is going to be actually one for all of you guys. It's going to be very interesting. Um, and if you know me and my love for uh, ASMR character videos, then you know probably where this is going. Um, but it's actually an idea that I got from a prompt a while back, and it actually was a sort of spur for another project that I'm doing that um, where the main character is... Uh, um, omniscient and he realizes he's the main character of a story um, but he doesn't want to do anything that the author tells him to do um, so it's basically like so it's basically an entire argument um, between this main character in the room this main character and the author um, which is primarily gonna be humor and everything but it's it's gonna be very interesting to sort of write that one too because that one's gonna be that one's definitely gonna, definitely gonna be going deep into my brain for this because uh, sometimes my characters do not behave. <laughs> yeah, that's primarily what this, that entire story is going to be about. It's just characters not behaving. <laughs> but... I've got a lot of projects lined up. It's going to be very interesting. Um, I'm still doing... Uh, for and if Courtney, if you're watching this, I'm still doing the um, combination or the, the complete overhaul rewrite of uh, The Ghosts of uh, Virtual Hollow. Um, I'm actually, uh, I've actually renamed it, so it's not the Ghost of Birchwood Hollow anymore, um, it's just called, um, The Curse of Briarvale Hollow, and, uh, there is a reason for that. Um, one, to sort of pay homage to the story that I wrote when I was in high school, but also I've sort of expanded it and it's not just ghosts anymore. Um, so it will be particularly interesting to see where this goes. Oh, I'm very, very jittery. I should not have taken that shot of coffee. <laughs> For those of you who know me, it's like I don't do coffee all that often, but I am slowly, but I'm like doing like a, like a drink of coffee a day, just like, just like, a, just like a single sip that I take my meds with, um, cause I'm, cause I'm on, um, these, um, metabolism supplements and they, uh, definitely give me that little spurt of energy um so there's obviously that um but, um but it's just wow i need to do like an entire update about my about my life right now because it's been weeks since i've done videos since, since i've done a video so i'll probably do that shortly after this but i think this is a good place to actually end the video i think i'm actually almost up to 20 minutes and i would like to cap it at 20 minutes so thank you guys so much for watching and everything. Um, if you are interested in uh, Seraphim Awakening and Arboreal Lux, um, I would definitely read Arboreal Lux before you read Seraphim Awakening. Uh, those two books are in the description below. You can go find them on Amazon and you can read them in either ebook or paperback. Um, if you do do paperback and everything, um, I hope that one day we meet and that I can actually write you, uh, sign your books for you. Um, cause I, because that just brings me so much joy that, um, uh, that someone actually uh, uh, respects paper medium and I just that's, it's like ah it's just I, 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 I feel so loved when I when people ask me to uh, design their books and everything so there's there's that um, if you loved this video and everything please like comment and subscribe uh, and also uh, in the comments below tell me about some of the uh, weird um uncharted territories that you've sort of found yourself in for this year um because i know a lot of people's new resolution new year's resolutions and everything are sort of blase basic i mean like you've got lose weight you've got get out of debt i really admire the ones that are trying to get out of debt this year um primarily because that's how my parents are going um but uh um yeah my yeah my basically my new year's resolution for me was just like keep writing just like let's just keep writing let's keep writing stories that's basically all you can do as stress relief at this point um but uh yeah there's there's that also if you want to support my channel besides buying my books and also like comment subscribing and sharing this video with anyone you think um will enjoy a 26 year old just spouting just absolute chaos thoughts from her brain um 
and find that either hilarious or informative, please send those videos to them. But uh, besides all that, to support me and everything, you can also buy merch. I have merch for the channel and for Arborea Lux down in the description below on my Printify store. Um, and I'm going to be coming out with a new line of t-shirts soon, and every single one of them are going to be very, very funny, at least to me in every way. Um, I cannot, I will say this, I cannot take credit for all of them. Um, all of these, all of these shirts and everything um, are actually the product of like stuff that I've uh, talked with with my parents. Because my parents and I have a um, very, very uh, morally gray sense of humor, and also the last one um, on that list is actually dedicated on the list is actually dedicated to my friend um, uh, Aaron. Aaron, if you're watching this, I did remember to I did remember to do a shout out to you, um, and I am uh, because that one is like is very, very interesting. And he and I have talked a lot about um, mental health in the past few days, so I. I want to do this for him and one of the projects that I'm doing and everything um, that's basically uh, is not necessarily is basically a love letter to readers and everything I'm also going to be dedicating that book to him because I feel like he absolutely needs it um, and I think that I, I think that he needs that booth of I think I, I think he needs that booth of self-esteem and that booth of confidence and support um, because he is going through a lot right now and I sort of feel helpless for not being able to help him so I'm trying my best to um, just to, just to provide comfort where I can. And I, and I, I love our little talks, Erin, you know I do. Um, so Erin, if you're watching this video, I hope you don't mind that I sort of called, that I sort of, um, dedicated, um, a, I'm, I'm sort of dedicating a book to you. I, I hope you do not mind. Um, um, it's not, and it's not just Erin. I think that everybody needs a symbolism of comfort, but I'm getting off topic again. I need to stop. I need to stop. I need to stop. <laughs> Um, if you want to keep up with my chaotic thoughts and everything, um, besides, um, my YouTube channel, um, please go down to my socials and follow me there. Um, I have a author page on Facebook. I've got Twitter. I've got Instagram. I've got TikTok. I will hopefully be able to be on TikTok more. I don't know, uh, what the book today will going to even be. And I went through an entire video without mentioning it. Oh God, I didn't want anybody to be triggered. Um, if you guys don't know, just look up. 2024 TikTok and it should come in your it should come down in the drop down list for Google I or whatever search engine you use um so just uh, just pray that people don't lose their minds and everything because this may be the collapse of Western civilization as we know it um <laughs> that's uh, people will probably be so 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 very happy um um, but besides all that and everything, I will try to be more on social media, um, and everything, um, because of war and I'll explain why in another video, um, probably in the video after this, I do plan on, I'm, I'm wanting to do more videos today. I don't know why. Um, but, uh, yeah. And also if you guys want to talk to me personally, or you want to talk to my, uh, group of friends that are also writers and also, um, bat crap crazy Dungeons and Dragons people um you can follow you can go down to the description there is the discord server for the uh, magic library and there is also the writers and readers group on Facebook that you guys can join um I hope you guys because I want to I want to foster that connection um primarily because it's like I do believe everyone needs a support system whether you're a writer or you're a reader or if you're just looking for someone to talk to um and if you're getting into writing you definitely I do believe that these connections will be beneficial not necessarily in the industry but in the support system um because everybody needs a support system no matter what and if you believe you don't need a support system i believe you are probably wrong and you probably need to go see a therapist even though if you don't believe in therapy um so i guess that's my psa for this video if you don't need therapy you probably if you think you don't need therapy you probably do and you need to go get it probably now um <laughs> <laughs> but um uh besides that and everything thank you guys so much for watching this video thank you guys for putting up with me and my crazy antics while uh while i was recording and um i hope you guys have a very wonderful day and i hope you guys <sighs> take deep breaths i hope you guys are able to relax and i will see you guys in another video probably either one tomorrow or one or one later today or one tomorrow and don't worry i will be doing um another cafe pantheon podcast episode um i will probably be getting it to it tomorrow um primarily because um 
I and I, I'm sorry for the hiatus and everything. Uh, I'm still trying to do like all of this other stuff. I'm working on Bloodlines. I'm working on this other story. I'm working on Captain Pantheon. Blah da 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 da. It's just it's 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 hell inside my head, guys. But have a wonderful day, guys, and I hope you guys will continue to join me on this journey. Bye.